All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Just remember, once you're over the hill you begin to pick up speed. Money is human happiness in the abstract, he, them, who is no longer capable of enjoying human happiness in the concrete, devotes himself utterly to money. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone, and if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom, for it is only when he is alone that he is really free. The doctor sees all the weakness of mankind, the lawyer all the wickedness, the theologian all the stupidity. Compassion is the basis of morality. To live alone is the fate of all great souls. Each day is a little life, every waking and rising a little birth, every fresh morning a little youth, every going to rest and sleep a little death. A man can do what he wants, but not want what he wants. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. The greatest of follies is to sacrifice health for any other kind of happiness. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. Boredom is just the reverse side of fascination. Both depend on being outside, rather than inside a situation, and one leads to the other. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. Satisfaction consists in freedom from pain which is the positive element of life. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. Every possession and every happiness is but lent by chance for an uncertain time and may therefore be demanded back the next hour. The man never feels the want of what it never occurs to him to ask for. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. It is a clear gain to sacrifice pleasure in order to avoid pain. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. Wealth is like sea water. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true of fame. Friends and acquaintances are the surest passport to fortune. Honor means that a man is not exceptional. Fame, that he is. Fame is something which must be won. Honor, only something which must not be lost. The alchemists in their search for gold discovered many other things of greater value. In action a great heart is the chief qualification, in work, a great head. The discovery of truth is prevented more effectively, not by the false appearance things present and which mislead into error, 
not directly by weakness of the reasoning powers, but by preconceived opinion, by prejudice. Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Religion is the masterpiece of the art of animal training for it trains people as to how they shall think. If you want to know your true opinion of someone, watch the effect produced in you by the first sight of a letter from him. The brain may be regarded as a kind of parasite of the organism, a pensioner, as it were, who dwells with the body. One should use common words to say uncommon things. It is a wise thing to be polite. Consequently, it is a stupid thing to be rude. The greatest achievements of the human mind are generally received with distrust. Opinion is like a pendulum and obeys the same law. If it goes past the center of gravity on one side, it must go like distance on the other, and it is only after a certain time that it finds the true point at which it can remain at rest. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. The more unintelligent a man is, the less mysterious existence seems to him. Journalists are like dogs. Whenever anything moves, they begin to bark. Hatred is an affair of the heart, contempt that of the head. The wise have always said the same things, and fools who are the majority, have always done just the opposite. In our monogamous part of the world, to marry means to have one's rights and double one's duties. The fundament upon which all our knowledge and learning rests is the inexplicable. The longer a man's fame is likely to last, the longer it will be in coming. Reading is equivalent to thinking with someone else's head instead of with one's own. I've never known any trouble than an hour's reading didn't assuage. Buying books would be a good thing if one could also buy the time to read them in, but as a rule the purchase of books is mistaken for the appropriation of their contents. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital, which is called in at death, and the higher the rate of interest, then the more regularly it is paid the further the date of redemption is postponed. The first 40 years of life give us the text, the next 30 supply the commentary on it. Compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a good man. After your death you will be what you were before your birth. Every parting gives a foretaste of death, every reunion a hint of the resurrection. 
there is no doubt that life is given us not to be in joy, but to be overcome, to be got over. Life is a constant process of dying. Martyrdom is the only way a man can become famous without ability. Music is the melody whose text is the world. Men are by nature merely indifferent to one another, but women are by nature enemies. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Wicked thoughts and worthless efforts gradually set their mark on the face, especially the eyes. Nature shows that with the growth of intelligence comes increased capacity for pain, and it is only with the highest degree of intelligence that suffering reaches its supreme point. If they gossip about you, it means that you are enough not only for yourself, but also for others.